Um, hello, I'm Professor Norman Rackett from the University of the West of England in the UK, and I'm here to talk about the diarrhea diagnostic device that we're developing with funds from the Wellcome Trust. It's true that somewhere upwards of 7,000 children a day die from diarrhea, and if a much more rapid system could be made to determine the causes of diarrhea, then many lives could be saved. And we're going to use a new approach using the volatiles, the smell of the diarrhea, to determine what vectors in, in the diarrhea cause disease. And we've now developed a device that's going to be similar to, to, to this, that can detect Clostridium difficile and also Campylobacter infections in diarrhea. And our preliminary results show that we have been very successful in diagnosing these conditions to, to a very high selectivity and specificity. And our work now is to screen many thousands of samples and create a device that will hopefully be then commercially viable. And thank you very much. Um, can you describe a little bit more the specificity and uh, how accurate the tests would be? The test at the moment is is at least equal to current methods which take longer and are more complicated and also more expensive. This technology here is exceedingly cheap using the volatiles from diarrhea. So a test can be done in somewhat upwards of 10 minutes, we believe, and can also be used by an unskilled uh, staff. So we're hoping that not only can it be used in the West, but also in poorer countries, especially in Bangladesh and in rural areas in Africa. Okay, um, and so how many different uh, varieties of diarrhea can this test uh, distinguish? Okay, well at present we've been mainly looking at Clostridium difficile, because that's a, a significant killer as regards diarrhea in the United Kingdom and in Europe, and in fact upwards of 3 billion euros per annum uh, is, is lost uh, because of this condition. And Campylobacter is also a, a, a condition of, of food poisoning. So we've been working at that really, say, for UK, European, U, US markets. But we've also done some preliminary research with uh, samples which we've got from Bangladesh as regards to cholera. And we believe we can use the same technology for rapidly diagnosing cholera at extremely low cost. And that's an area which we're hoping to develop in the future. You describe a little bit more of the science um, behind how this, uh, how this test works? Well, okay. Well, it all started off when uh, a doctor at Bristol Royal Infirmary, uh, Professor Chris Probert, said that his nurses could sniff the diarrhea and actually say, with a fair degree of accuracy, what the, is the vector of disease in the diarrhea. They, they said they could smell Clostridium, the Clostridium difficile in the diarrhea. And so Chris contacted me at the University of Western England because he knew that we were dealing with trying to make electronic noses and, and asked whether we could duplicate what the nurses could do because you can't have nurses sniffing diarrhoea all the time and perhaps what if they got a cold one day. Uh, it's just not really acceptable and we must get rid of the, sort of the human variation and we have say, developed a, a device that simply would involve pushing the diarrhea sample in a bottle into the device, closing the lid, and the smell comes up, goes past some sensors that then respond by changing their electrical resistances, and then the responses are interrogated using a, a, a neural network, an artificial neural network system, and then simply on a screen will, will appear what disease uh, has caused the problems, so whether it's Campylobacter or Clostridium difficile, that particular bacteria will just appear on the screen, like here, where you see Mr. P. Smith has got Clostridium difficile at a certain date, and this device here is similar to what we're hoping to develop. We just simply put the bottle in here with some diarrhea into the device, close the lid, and a few minutes later, the diagnosis will appear like that. So in fact, there are no complicated sensor responses for the doctor to interpret. It just simply says yes or no what disease you've got, and it should work for a variety of diseases. Well, yes. What do you imagine would be the estimated cost for this kind of a test? 
for the test, we think it's something like uh, one, one, one and a half dollars per test would seem reasonable. It's a bit up in the air yet because we are only making these units in very small quantities for our research. But come mass production, the price could, we believe will drop to extremely low amounts because the sensors themselves are extremely cheap just I think a few dollars to make each and, and last for several months. So, yes, we, we believe that it will become affordable for use in third world countries, which we're, we are sincerely hoping that we can make this device work for. And my final question um, for you is, what do you see as sort of the next steps? What are the next challenges that you're facing in moving the project forward? Well, okay, well, at the moment, we, we've got a, a device that is, is rather bulky uh, and complicated looking because it's at the research stage. But we have just obtained significant amounts of money from the Wellcome Trust and the University Translation Board, which means that something like $2 million of, of funding so that we can try out a large trial of thousands of individuals and also make uh, devices that will look very like this, which will be very near to the market and which won't require very much um, sort of input from industry to turn this in, into a product. And, and we are hoping that when we've done something like two to three years more work uh, with, with grant we've got that, then it will very rapidly be assimilated by industry to take this on because ultimately myself and, and Professor Chris Probert, who I work with, are, are scientists. We, we are not manufacturers. So we need to produce a device that looks ready for investment by industry and, and that, is, that is our goal and, and leave it to a commercial company to make the profits and, and make it uh, a, a appear in the marketplace. Thank Great, you. thank you very much.